Second Chronicles 6, verse 1. And said Solomon, the Lord said that he would dwell in the thick darkness. That I have built a house and habitation for thee, and a place for thy dwelling forever. And the king turned his face and blessed the whole congregation of Israel. And all the congregation of Israel stood. He said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who hath with his hands fulfilled that which he spoke with his mouth to my father David, saying, Since the day that I brought forth my people out of the land of Egypt, I chose no city among all the tribes of Israel to build a house in, that my name might be there. Neither chose I any man to be a ruler over my people Israel. But I have chosen Jerusalem, that my name might be there. And I have chosen David to be over my people Israel. Now it was in the heart of David, my father, to build a house for the name of the Lord God of Israel. The Lord said to David, my father, for as much as it was in thy heart to build a house for my name, thou didst well in that it was in thine heart. Notwithstanding, thou shalt not build the house, but thy son shall come forth out of thy loins. He shall build the house for my name. For the Lord, therefore, hath performed his word. He hath spoken, for I am risen up in the room of David, my father, and am set on the throne of Israel, as the Lord promised, and has built the house for the name of the Lord God of Israel. And in it, in it have I put the ark, wherein is the covenant of the Lord that he made with the children of Israel. And he stood before the altar of the Lord in the presence of all the congregation of Israel and spread forth his hands. For Solomon had made a brazen scaffold of five cubits long, five cubits broad, and three cubits high, and had, it, had set it in the midst of the court. And upon it he stood and kneeled down upon his knees before all the congregation of Israel, and spread forth his hands toward heaven. He said, O Lord God of Israel, there is no God like thee in the heaven, nor in the earth, which keeps covenant and shows mercy unto thy servants that walk before thee with all their hearts. Thou which hast kept with thy servant David my father, that which thou hast promised him, and spoke with thy mouth, and hast fulfilled it with thy hand, as it is this day. Now therefore, O Lord God of Israel, keep with thy servant David my father that which thou hast promised him, saying, There shall not fail thee a man in my sight to sit upon the throne of Israel. Yet so that thy children take heed to their way to walk in my law, as thou hast walked before me. Now then, O Lord God of Israel, let thy word be verified, which thou hast spoken unto thy servant David. But will God in very deed dwell with men on the earth? Behold, heaven and the heaven of heavens cannot contain thee, how much less this house which I have built. Have respect, therefore, to the prayer of thy servant, and to his supplication, O Lord my God, to hearken unto the cry and the prayer which thy servant prays before thee that thine eyes may be opened upon this house day and night, upon the place whereof thou hast said that thou would put thy name there, to hearken unto the prayer which thy servant prays toward this place. Hearken therefore unto the supplications of thy servant and of thy people Israel, which they shall make toward this place. Hear thou from thy dwelling place, even from heaven, and when thou hearest, forgive. 
a man sins against his neighbor, and an oath be laid upon him to make him swear. And the oath comes before thine altar in this house. Then, thou from, then, then hear thou from heaven, and do, and judge thy servants, by requ be requiting the wicked, by recompensing his way upon his own head, and by justifying the righteous, by giving him according to his righteousness. If thy people Israel be put to the worst before the enemy, because they have sinned against thee, and shall return and confess thy name, and pray and make supplication before thee in this house, then hear thou from the heavens, and forgive the sin of thy people Israel, and bring them again unto the land which thou gave to them and to their fathers. And the heaven is shut up, and there is no rain, because they have sinned against thee, that if they pray toward this place, and confess thy name, and turn from their sin, when thou dost afflict them. And hear thou from heaven, and forgive the sin of thy servants, and of thy people Israel. And thou hast taught them the good way, wherein they should walk, and send rain upon thy land, which thou hast given unto thy people for an inheritance. 